everybody we're working on our installation uh, we've already checked out our shell you may notice that from our previous video I've gone ahead and I have uh, changed my prompt to uh, something that's a little bit closer to the default prompt hopefully that makes it so you can follow along just a little bit easier and what we're going to do now is we're going to make sure that we have Git installed and we're also going to make sure that we have the developer tools installed. Uh, Apple comes with a set of, or Apple has put together a set of developer tools. Specifically, they've put together this set of tools to, so developers can work on apps for the iPhone and the iPad and their computers and things of that nature. That's not what we're going to be using them for, but in general, it's a good set of tools to have if you're going to be developing on your computer. So the first thing we want to do is we can just go ahead and check if we already have git installed. And we can do that by using the command git space. And then we can use two hyphens and version. Now, so this is going to tell me uh, Xcode select note, no developer tools were found in my Xcode.app requesting an install. And it's given me this little pop up. Do I want to install these things? And I hope that you can see this. I know that my screen is a little small, but I'll go ahead and click the install button. It gives me a big old uh, user agreement as per usual. I'll hit the agree. It's going to go ahead and first download some software and then it's going to go ahead and install it. And while that's installing, we can talk a little bit about what Git is. Git is version control software or VCS for short. What that is, is it gives people an ability to keep track of their software and keep their code, uh, keep track of it in different versions of it, both locally on their own computers, as well as in the cloud and keep those synced up. It's also used uh, across multiple teams or multiple people across a single team and then multiple teams across uh, a department and then sometimes multiple departments across an organization that all might be working together in the same code base. And you could probably understand that things could get pretty messy when you have a lot of different software engineers or data scientists working on the same bits of code. Um, it could pretty easily get pretty nasty and messy uh, if you have more than one person working on the same file at a time, right? Uh, whose changes take precedent, things of that nature. How do you coordinate all of those changes happening to the same set of files or the same code base at a time? And that's what Git was developed for. I think it was actually developed um, when they were developing Unix, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Anyways, um, Git is used with some other tools. There are a couple of web interfaces or, or web-based sort of cloud repositories. The one you'll be using in the DSI and the most popular one is called GitHub. But there's also GitLab. There's also uh, Bitbucket. There are a number of them. But they're all based upon Git. And you're going to be using Git. Actually, after all of this installation stuff is taken care of, the next unit in this pre-course is an introduction to Git. Uh, in the DSI, you'll be using Git to pull down your assignments from the cloud and fork them into your own personal repositories where you can keep your own work and archive that own work. So you can continue to have access to that work even after the immersive is finished. So that's a little bit of introduction about Git, GitHub. We'll talk a lot more about it a bit later. But for now, we see the software was installed. We'll go and hit done. Anytime we do anything to the terminal, we're gonna need to go ahead and close whatever terminal that we have and open up a new one. So I've done that, I zoomed in. Hopefully this text is large enough for everyone to see. And what I'm doing now is now if I go get version, I can see that I have this version 2.24.3. Um, and this is an Apple Git 128. So that means it's a 128 bit version of Git. So that helps me. Uh, if by chance you happened to already have Git installed, let's go ahead and take the opportunity to also make sure that you have these developer tools installed 
and I just want to make sure that I have the command for this right up in front of me and that command is going to be Xcode select install right and this says oh your command line tools are already installed use software update if you want to install any updates so for me right we just installed these so they are there if you for some reason had git on your computer and got it from somewhere else besides these developer tools then um, this command would go ahead and install. You'd probably be prompted for your password or uh, if you're using like the, the fingerprint or whatever on your laptop, you'd be prompted for that. And it might also ask you to agree to some user terms uh, or uh, hit you with like a do you want to proceed? Yes, no type of deal. So that's how you're going to install your developer tools, including Git, which you will need a little bit later on. And that's it for this video. We'll move on to the next one where we actually dig into the installation of uh, the next step of our installation.